Welcome back everyone to more tricks and tips for your stream. My name is Soul Train and today I want to show you how you can give your camera shapes like this or like this in OBS Studio. Okay, the first thing you need here is a PNG file with the shape you want your camera to be. Now this uh, very important is to have a transparent background. Uh, there are two options on how to do this. One is to create it in Photoshop or any kind of software you can do this. Or second and most easiest is just to find a PNG file online with the shape you want. I will show you how to do uh, this in both ways. So just stick around. Okay, here we are in Photoshop. Now the first thing you want to do uh, when you create a new file, make sure you have it on 1920 by 1080 size and press create. Now uh, the shapes are down here on the left. If you right click on it, you see a few of them already there, a standard and you have the custom shape tool in there. Just in case you want your camera to have a star shape or a triangle shape or anything like that. Now for the purpose of this video, I am just going to leave it on a rounded rectangle tool. Just click on it. Now drag your rectangle on the screen. Give it a decent size here. Uh, also, I want my corners to be a little bit more rounded. So I'm going to go here on the right hand side and just drag it a little bit more to the right. Also up here on a uh, fill. I am going to leave it on black and I will show you a little bit later why am I doing this. Uh, before you save it, make sure you take the background off so you have a transparent background in here. And very important, when you save the file, make sure you save it as a PNG file. I'm going to call it rectangle. 11 because I have quite a few of them already uh, saved and press save. Okay, here we are in OBS now. The, um, if you only have one uh, screen for your stream and you don't have an intermission screen or a uh, full screen camera like how I have in here, what you want to do is just go to your source and add a you new. Know, your video capture device and then what you want to do here is right click on it go to filters on filters plus image mask blend from the list and press ok now on type here make sure you choose alpha mask alpha channel and on path go to browse here and select the file uh, you just created in Photoshop and your camera will automatically change the shape and then you can just uh, resize it or do whatever you want with it. But if you have more than one screen, what will happen is when you add that filter directly to your camera, to your uh, source in here it will change the shape in all the other scenes as well so if your intermission screen has the camera uh, let's say square it will change that into the rounded rectangle you just added so what you want to do is create a scene down here and on that scene only put your video capture device your camera and instead of adding the filter directly to your video capture device add the filter onto your um, scene it is exactly the same thing just add it into your scene now let's say i want my rounded rectangle camera to be only on my stream screen in here how I have this one what I want to do is I am going to go to my source here go to plus and instead of adding a video capture device 
I am going to add a scene. I called mine uh, YT from YouTube and just press OK. And now I have my new rectangle camera onto my screen. I can resize it. I can do whatever I want with it in here. So I'm just going to leave it in this corner for now. And as you can see, this one is the new one rectangle, rounded rectangle here. And on my intermission screen, the shape did not change at all. Okay, guys, now, if you don't have Photoshop or any uh, software where you can create files like that, one thing you can do very easy, go into Google, type PNG shapes and choose the shape you want your camera to be from there. As soon as it has a transparent background, it should be working with no issues. You follow the exact same steps. So create a new scene. In that scene, you add one source only, which is your video capture device and the filter image mask blend. You will add it directly to your scene. Then get that scene into your screen where you want to uh, use it. And that's it. If you need any help in setting all this up, I am live on Twitch Monday to Friday from around 2 p.m. UK time. Okay, guys, this is it. If this video was any helpful for you, please like and subscribe. And I will see you very soon with more tricks and tips for your stream. Bye bye. Welcome back everyone, my name is Soul Train and welcome back to Offa. Okay, now here in After Effects, I, oh my god, this is not After Effects, this is Photoshop, damn it. Welcome to more ticks and tri oh, tricks, 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 tricks for fuck's sake. Okay, here we are. Uh, I lost momentum in there. Ah.